I had CO2 laser, microneedling, and PRP injections two days ago and have loads of swelling and itching. Is this normal? When will the swelling lessen? Am I having a reaction or is this normal? Can I use any anti-itching cream? I'm currently only using baby shampoo to wash my face and Aquaphor as a moisturizer. Thank you for your question. You stated that two days prior you underwent CO2 laser, microneedling, PRP injection. And you've, you've, you've submitted several photos and you're saying, you're, you're, you're stating you have a lot of itching and a lot of swelling and you want to get a sense of when this will resolve. Well, I can give you some guidance on how we advise our patients when we do these types of procedures in our practice. Um, a little background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon, fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. And uh, certainly uh, uh, these, these types of issues is part of any type of uh, resurfacing uh, procedure with the goal to restore new skin as well as doing something to stimulate collagen and, and the dermis, et, et cetera. I've been using the CO2 laser back in the mid-90s and prior to that we were doing chemical peels. So these issues have a certain commonality and some consistency. So understand that when you do something like CO2 laser, uh, in our practice we use a fractional CO2 laser more uh, consistently, um, we, you are basically generating columns of uh, entry into the skin with the intention of essentially re-epithelializing or restoring fresh new skin on top that heals faster than an ablation as well as stimulating the dermis to generate collagen and tighten. Now there will be itching and that's part of the healing process. You know, you create all these little defects in the skin you're going to get itching. The same applies to the microneedling process and chances are you had them done in different areas, but nonetheless, you're going to have itching from that. The, this is the type of question that really should go to the doctor who performed the procedure. And if you are feeling that this is a type of itching that's so uncomfortable that you, you, you really just are beside yourself, that tends to be itching that can be associated with some type of allergy. One of the things that people have to understand is that when you do any resurfacing procedure, basically the protective barrier of the skin has been reduced and eliminated. The aquaphor does play an important role in protecting the skin while the epithelium heals. But that being said, when the barrier is removed, you, are, you can be sus uh, susceptible to various allergens or different elements of the environment. It could be even to something that you're applying besides the aquaphor. So the, the counseling we give to our patients is to basically expect at least a week's worth of so, um, employable or social downtime when you do something full face like this and that there will be redness that can persist for a few weeks because of the dermal treatment. So you should contact your doctor. With the photos you submitted, it doesn't look uh, like a contact dermatitis, which is one of the first things I think about when a patient calls about itching. Um, but if it's just some itching, some swelling, then that is typically just par for the course and can be expected. When my policy with patients is if you have a question, the door is always open. You come right in and you get evaluated. Photos are not always ideal. The way, whether we're typically people take pictures with their phones and they can get decent enough pictures, but contact allergy, if you can catch it early, treat it early, you can avoid a lot of uh, misery later on. Contact dermatitis, it can be like uh, an example is, uh, that everyone understands is 
poison ivy. So hopefully you've, you, you'll be able to reach out to your doctor and figure out what to do before things progress further um, in a way that you, that's undesirable. Like I said, typically a little itching, a little swelling for a doctor is normal, but for a person who, of course, is experiencing something like this for the first time, can be distressing or unsettling because they naturally, a lot of times, people think that something has gone wrong or something is going wrong. So that's why we have this policy in our office to just call us, come in, and we'll, we'll see what's going on. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.